and TikTok. All right, everybody, come on in, come on in. Thank you all so much for being here. Sorry to keep you waiting. I was just getting myself camera ready. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll take attendance in just a moment. Feel free to shout yourselves out as you come on in if you would like to be counted present. But for anybody new here, please allow me to introduce myself. Hi, I am Maggie, your substitute teacher. Welcome to my struggle cooking class here. I am not a professional chef, nor am I a professional YouTuber. I am just a mom and a home cooker, sharing my love of food on my health and wellness journey with you all. And it is quite the journey. Uh oh, sorry. It is quite the journey, but we have fun here. Um, today, I want to make a recipe that I saw online. It is a cabbage Alfredo with crumbled bacon. So I got a couple options. We're going to make it sugar free, dairy free, and gluten free. So no sugar added, dairy free. Um, I've got some plant-based cream or coconut cream. I'll show you all the options and then I'll let you all choose. And then uh, gluten-free, uh, there's no pasta. We're gonna actually cut our cabbage into like pasta strings and saute it that way. So I will show you all the recipe and then we will get started. Have I ever made this before? No. Has that ever stopped me? No. Um, we just give it a try here and see how it goes. So let's see who all we have here on um, TikTok. Hello, James. Hello, Lee. Hello, Anthony. Hello, everyone. Uh, LaShondra. It just uh, pops up and drops down. Who do we have on IG? Y'all, we have another little milestone today. I just hit 6,000 on IG. And I really haven't been paying attention too much to it, but I'm growing. I'm having a little bit of a viral moment. And um, the reason why I'm excited about that is because We'll do a little bit of business here. When you get monetized on YouTube, they turn on all of the monetization features at once. That's why it's like that big push to 1,000 uh, subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. However, on Facebook and on IG, they turn on the monetization in stages. So I think right now I'm monetized on Reels, but when I get to 10,000 subscribers on Instagram, they can buy badges and do different things during the live stream. And you all know I stream every day, so every little bit helps and I appreciate it. So let's take roll call on IG. Hello, Awoni. Thank you, Mr. Millie, Mr. Keep It. Keep it uh, on the download. Mr. Jacobs, Akitunda, Chico, Nicholas, uh, Sukushi, Prince, and Natasha. Thank you all so much for being here. I appreciate it so much. Hello, Jenny. Hello, Olive. Uh, let's see, who do we have here on Facebook and YouTube? Let's see who's in class today. Excuse me. Hello. We've got Wilbert. I'm starting from the bottom and going to the top. Started from the bottom. Now we're here. <laughs> Y'all, I am old and I am lame. You do not come here for uh, the cool kids. You just come here to have a good time and I may burst out in song at any moment. Hello, everyone. We got Veggie Veggie in the house. Hello, Veggie Veggie. I'm sure you saw Nana yesterday. We have Sabrina in the house. She says, I'm excited for this, for this recipe tonight. Me too, sweetheart. Never made it before, but let's see if we like it. Linda Barrett is back. Hello, Linda. Thank you for being here, darling. Wilbert says, greetings. I wish I could lose weight as quickly as... <laughs> you and me both, brother. Wilbert says, I wish I could lose weight as quickly as Maggie Gaines YouTube subscribers, y'all. I'm having a little bit of a viral moment. Y'all know this is a cooking channel, but all the things Maggie are starting to blend. But yeah, there was a clip of me on a podcast from last month that a lot of people are resonating to. And on YouTube, I think it's up to 130 views. It's ridiculous. So however you find, however you found me, you are most welcome here. Yeah. And I'm struggling with the weight as well. I got a nice little comp comment about my, uh, what was it? Humpty Dumpty shape. So I know we can all get better. Um, but I am down 80 pounds with at least 20 more to go. And I'm going to say that until I get that last 20 off. So <laughs> we're in this together, Wilbert. Sabrina's here. She says, hi, Maggie. Chelsea says, yes, yeah, same, Wilbert. I know, right? We have Joe Ethereal. My first time seeing you here. Hello, sir. Thank you so much for being here. We have Miss Strong in the house checking in. 
Hello, Hamza. Uh, we have Kia G in the house. Hello, my dear. We have Sheila Thurman coming back. She says, hello, Miss Maggie. Hello, my dear. Ah, uh, yes, thank you all so much for being here. Tasha says, good evening. Glad to see you. Good to see you. We're glad you're here. Good to see you. Oh, sorry, that's a church song. Hello. We got Bonnie Young in the house. Bonnie says, hello, Maggie. Hello, Bonnie. I don't know if Bonnie is a ma'am or sir. I'm a Southern girl. So if you want me to know, you can let me know. Hello, Alma Dyes. Alma Dyes is a YouTuber. Please check out her channel. Miss Strong is a YouTuber. Please check out her channel. We got Tito Helper in the house saying, please hit the like button. Tito is ready for Friday. I can tell he's got his bottle ready for the weekend. Good evening to you, kind sir. Hello, everyone. Jurgen coming through from Germany with his plate. Chelsea's here. Delisha is here. Marie Marie is listening in on the road. So I'm trying to use my inside voice. I watched back my replay with mom and I was a little excited and a little loud. So I'm trying to work on that and bring it down. All right, everyone, if I missed you and you would like to be counted present, please feel free to announce yourself. However, if you would prefer to watch from the clouds and you know who you are, you're most welcome to. We are always the happy, wholesome, family-friendly side of YouTube. All right, hello, Prince. I'm going to clean the counters and uh, do I want to get my apron on today? Y'all, I got a turtleneck on. The sun is out, but it's cold. We're at that time of year where I live, where it's like, we just had a little bit of rain, so the rain is gone. So it's nice and dry, beautiful sun. Y'all can always see outside in Atlanta. It's a beautiful day. <laughs> you can see the uh, reflection, um, but it's cold. So I put on a turtleneck. So I don't know if I wanna suit up with the apron, but we'll see. Who do we have here? Y'all coming through already. The none other than the Real Bravado Network sponsored the whole stream last week. And um, <laughs> thank you, Hamza. I appreciate that. I'm here to make your day better. Um, so we'll get out the ingredients and let you choose which bacon you all would like. Um, but yes, so I will clean off the counters, show you all the video. Um, and then you all can help me make this. Real Bravado says it's 85 in the loo. And to me, I thought that was Louisiana, but I just remember St. Louis. Hello, Notorious Kevin Brooks says, hello, Maggie and Scholars. Congrats on having, I don't know if anybody has a hundred million subscribers, no, like Mr. Beast. But uh, in all seriousness, for those of y'all that are YouTubers, if you were here two days ago on Sunday, Two days ago, I celebrated 5,000. Y'all saw me jumping around here like a crazy lady. And then today, I hit 6,000. So in two days, I got over like 500. When you get in the engine and it starts moving you around, there's nothing you can do. Hello, Realta. Thank you for being here. All right, let's see if our counter is working. Um, okay, good. Uh, Terrell says, dang. Terrell says, Mr. Beast has 100 million subscribers. Um, yeah, St. Louis, how about that? Christopher Williams is here doing his dance. Hello, sir. Uh, Terrell says, yo, coming in like Poppy Blanco. But we'll see. From your lips to God's ears. I don't know, y'all. I mean, as a YouTuber, you know, we want to get that 1,000. And then after that, it's like they say it's a vanity metric, but it is nice. I'm not going to lie. It's nice to know that my content is cre is uh, resonating with people because y'all know my family, you saw them yesterday and the boys are like, you? People wanna watch you make our dinner? So hello, Rochains, thank you. All right, let's clean the counter. Anybody on IG or um, TikTok, if you wanna watch the side-by-side, -side, you can come over to Facebook uh, or YouTube. I am Maggie, the substitute teacher. Wilbert says I'm at 6,240 now. So just today I've already gotten 240 subscribers. It's crazy. Well, more than that, because this morning I woke up and it wasn't at 6,000, but I was on the phone with AB and I was watching it. It got to like 5,999. And then when it crossed over, we were screaming together like girls. But anyway, uh, Chelsea says, your content has helped me so much. You're literally helping change lives. Oh, wonderful. I love hearing that. Thank you. I appreciate it really and truly. Y'all know who's here. 10 plus sounds, also a YouTuber. 
All right, everyone, let me get the iPad. Let me just clean a little bit of the backsplash. You know, Mom and I were cooking that red stew yesterday, popping me and everything. All right. So I did link the recipe. Let me grab it for you all. If you see this thing jiggling, I'm going to plug up the iPad. Hello, hello, everyone. Come on in. Make yourselves comfortable. Sit back and relax. We're going to take our time tonight. I cooked with Mom yesterday, and it was fun, but that was a doozy. Hello, Aaron. Uh, so I'm going to take my time tonight. If y'all have anything to do, feel free to multitask. I don't mind at all. And I have to thank everyone again on behalf of my mom. I sent her home with $380. Well, it was $385, but she gave $5 to Alex. So I zelled her after setting up Zell for her, after logging into her account. Y'all know how it goes. I'm tech support over here. Take your time. I am here for OnlyFans. Yes, for anybody new here, you will not find Maggie on OnlyFans. However, you will find me on OnlyPans. And I may or may not have a Maggie apron with that uh, on there. So you will see it. Hello, the funner man. Thank you. All right, why does this look a little bit crooked? Y'all know it's just me and my phones. Nothing professional over here. But we make it work and we have a good time. All right. All right. So this is an Instagram recipe that I found. Let me show it to you all. It is low carb Khaleesi. Isn't that from Game of Thrones? Khaleesi or something like that? Y'all know. I don't know. Uh, what does Terrell say? I'm just listening to the smooth sounds of Maggie cooking while I type up this episode. Yes, I'm working on my speech. That's been part of my etiquette and elegance training because I want to refine. And you all know my second channel, Teachable Moments with Maggie. I go over that there. And I do have a free Patreon. There's a $1 and a $5 level and a lot of content that I share with you all. But happy to give you the soothing sounds if it helps. Chelsea says, I'll never forget that hashtag. It still makes you giggle. <laughs> yeah, y'all know what it is. We keep it wholesome over here. Okay, so I'm going into my IG and I used my I use my IG like a, a lot of y'all. I've got all kind of folders. So whenever I come across anything on social media, for me, it is a recipe. But it also could be, have you ever seen like them advertise some of that stuff? And you're just like, ah, oh, I was going to shop now, but I missed it. I will save the link and then I can go back later and take a look. All right. Hello, Sandra. Am I saying your name right? Sandra or Sandra? Please remind me. Hello, uh, King. Thank you for being here. Okay. So let me pull up this recipe. Um, it is low carb Khaleesi. I guess she does kind of look like Khaleesi. Y'all remember Khaleesi from Game of Thrones? So this is her low carb Khaleesi carb with a K. Uh, so you all can see. All right, so let me go down to it. When you scroll on her page, you will see this one right here. Oh, can you see it? Cabbage Alfredo. It's a little hard to see, but we're gonna play it together. All right. I'll play it a couple times. After that, slice your cabbage to the thickness of feta cheese noodles and saute in a little bit of garlic butter until tender. Pour on the I gotta be careful sauce, with this music. Chop a little bit of bacon crumbles, and you're ready to serve. This meal is so delicious. One more time, just in case anybody missed it. Tonight's recipe is creamy cabbage alfredo. For the sauce, you need butter, heavy cream, Parmesan cheese, garlic, black pepper, parsley, and Italian seasoning. After that, slice your cabbage to the thickness of feta cheese noodles and saute in a little bit of garlic butter until tender. Pour on the alfredo sauce, top with a little bit of bacon crumbles, and you're ready to serve. Okay, so she uses uh, bacon crumbles. So I'll give you all the choice. So we'll keep this playing here. And I think I will put on my apron. I just feel better when I have it on. Hello, Bless. Thank you so much for being here. All right. So ingredients. Oh, she has it on her page as well. So you all can see. All right, so we need one head of cabbage. So let's get the cabbage out. All 
All right, so I have a whole head of cabbage, so I am going to have to do some shredding today. We did a lot of prep yesterday. We'll take the leaves off the top. You can see it was starting to get a little bit sad, so I wanted to use this. Cabbage is a great, I think it's a great vegetable. You all can let me know if you like cabbage and how you cook it. Uh, it's also good for if you like lettuce wraps. Hello, everyone coming in. If you like lettuce wraps or any of that type of Asian cuisine, if you want something with a little bit more substance than lettuce, you can wrap it in your cabbage leaves. You you can shred this for coleslaw, um, egg rolls, uh, inside, all, all kind of good stuff. Hello, hello, Chiefy. All right. Terrell says, shout out to the low value brothers like your boy. What are low value? I don't understand. You're not low value. You're a principal. Come on, Terrell. Or did I miss something? Because y'all know I don't get most of the stuff. Chelsea says it looks bomb. All right. Let's, let's keep going. So we have our cabbage. And then you see here it says two tablespoons of Chef Chamois garlic butter. All right, so the Chef Chamois brand, I don't have that. I've seen they, do I have it in the other fridge? But Chef Chamois is just a brand, usually you can get it like at Sam's Club. It's one of the ones where they have the, um, the display and um, they let you taste it. I remember I had some at Sam's Club, but who do we have here? Wilbert starting with five dollars and one cents. Did I did I miss something? Wilbert is coming through, putting his bid on the stream sponsor. You all already know how we do here. Thank you so much. You can support uh, if you would like to support financially. You can send a cash app, PayPal, Venmo, Facebook stars, Instagram gifts, buy me a coffee. Um, and the person who gives the biggest amount is the stream sponsor and you take the place on the struggle stream micro board. So we're going to put Wilbert up there. He says the microwave should never be empty. So, okay, Wilbert. Absolutely. <laughs> Hello, Linda with the love notes. Terrell says, just joking. Absolutely. You are a stand up brother. It's sand like fan. Sandra. Oh, she says I can pronounce it anyway. No, I'm a stickler for names. I like names. Let's get Wilbert his props. All right. And I feel bad. Y'all can see I'm cooking in the middle of the, well, it's still after five. We got the light. We got the window. It's so janky, but y'all like it. So here we go, right? So $5.01. Will Burt. All right. All right. So we were talking about the garlic butter. I got a different garlic butter. I'll show you all what I got. I just got this from Kroger. You all know the Kerrygold brand. Usually I'm dairy free, so I do have my goat's butter um, or plant-based butter, and I'll show you all how to make your own garlic butter if you can't buy it. But this is what I have. So this is Kerrygold garlic and herb butter. So I do have this. We'll keep this as an option. Let it soften. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> y'all can let me know. I will let you all vote. Do you want me to update the microwave with the name of the stream sponsor? Or do you want me to collect names and everybody who donates goes on the micro board? But thank you, Wilbert. The notorious Kevin Brooks has come through with a $10 super chat saying, correct, Wilbert, the microwave should never be empty. So he has outbid you at $10. Oh, God. Here we go. Y'all, right. please check out the notorious Kevin Brooks. He also has a YouTube channel, Hilarious Shorts. He is our uh, community Charlie Chaplin, if you ask me. But thank you so much for the $10. I don't take it lightly. Notorious Brooks says, collect names, please. You got it. All right, so we'll keep Wilbert up there. And I'm just going to write names like a school teacher. <laughs> but this is a good place where you want your name, not the bad board, okay? So... We'll just take the dollar amounts off so we can focus on the snacks. All right. All right, small. So we have I 
All right. So far, we have Wilbert and Kevin. Y'all can't see that. Let me close the blinds. The wa oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Wilbert says he is well rested. I try to close the blinds so y'all can see. Oh my gosh, it's so janky. We have Wilbert now at $10.01 and we have Kevin at $10. The war is on. Chelsea, y'all know what we do here. Money wars. Hello, Balistri. Hello, Net. Oh boy, I know. Hello, Mona. Thank you for being here. Sandra's laughing. Okay, so we have our garlic butter. And then it says two tablespoons of regular butter. So we're going to get our, uh, maybe our plant-based butter and uh, get that out. Let's see. All right, I have one that's open. It's kind of janky. I'm going to use it anyway. There's nothing wrong with it. But I love giving you all, all the substitutes. Terrell says Maggie's likes are up. That's what happens when you reach 6,000 subs. Yes, thank you all so much. Not just for the 6,000, but the growth. I really, really appreciated it. Appreciate it. I never expected this, but I'm just so grateful. I didn't think anybody would care. But here we are, and y'all keep coming back. <laughs> Yes, Wilbur has time today. All right, so a couple of options for you all. If you want to keep this dairy free, you can use your plant-based butter. You can use your goat's milk butter. These are a couple substitutes that I use. Um, it is, it's up to you, but some people don't tolerate dairy well. So I do have these options. So just giving you all some substitutes because I know we always have new people coming to the channel. What else do we need? All right, so it says one cup of heavy cream. So I do need you all to make a choice for me. All right, so if you can have heavy whipping cream, please have some for me. Again, cream, yogurt, half and half, cheese, all that stuff that I love does not love me back. So I've had to make substitutes. That's why I'm your substitute teacher. So we have two options. I can use this one right here. This is the Country Crock plant-based uh, heavy whipping cream. I don't know what plant. Maybe it's coconut cream um, or some other kind of plant. Or we can use the Thai coconut cream unsweetened. So we could do like a coconut Alfredo. I don't know if that makes sense, but you all can let me know if you want to use the country crock or the Thai. But I need a cup of cream. If you can have heavy whipping cream, um, have some for me. So you all can choose. And then next one is one cup of Parmesan. So I've got a substitute for you all. Hello, Blush and Bashfully. Go ahead and do the apron. Linda wants the country crock. Okay. And Sandra wants the country crock. Okay. So this is what we'll use for our heavy whipping cream, but just giving you all some options. Okay. So the recipe calls for, hello, Mary. The recipe calls for uh, Parmesan. I know if you are like Real Bravado and you're from Wisconsin and you're a cheese snob, fine. You can get real Parmesan cheese or like we grew up. I know, I know, I know you can use the, uh, the stuff in the jar. However, this is a uh, dairy cheese. So what I'm going to use as a substitute, you all have seen me use it before. This is Pecorino Romano and you can see here, this is made from sheep's milk. So this is the substitute that I'm using, but you all can see here, this is from Publix Deli and this gives you the, oh, it's not open, but you can see it gives you the uh, crumbles of like a Parmesan cheese. So if you need a dry, salty, aged cheese, but you want to avoid the dairy, Pecorino Romano from Sheep's Milk. 
This is the substitute that we're going to use to keep it dairy free. Hello, Mellow7. All right, what else do we need? Jurgen is giving the thumbs up. All right, let's keep going. All right, so it says a half teaspoon of garlic minced. So I do have some fresh garlic and I'll show you all a couple substitutes as well. But I do believe mom might have left a couple cloves of garlic. But just in case she didn't, I did buy fresh garlic. I always tell you fresh is best if you can get it, but there are substitutes in a pinch. So this is a whole garlic bulb and these little knots in the inside are the cloves. So we probably just need like one of those. So I'll be dicing that up. Let me see what else I can give you all. <laughs> Delicia says country crot, you got it. All right. I don't believe I have any minced garlic in the fridge. Minced garlic is the one that comes in the jar. It's the little bitty pieces of chopped up garlic um, sitting in water, but you can use this. You can get this in your produce section, garlic paste. If you don't have garlic butter, you can take regular butter just soften it, which means let it sit out a little bit at room temperature so that it's like squeezably soft, <laughs> like me. Put a little squeeze of garlic paste in there with your butter and stir it, you know, together to make like a garlic paste. And then you can brush it on your toast or your bread or whatever you want to do. So you can make your own garlic butter. Always like to give you all tips. What does Linda say? I am from Wisconsin, but that cheese sounds good. You'll have to try it out. Yes. I don't know if they have Publix up there, uh, Linda, but you can uh, you can look for a Pecorino Romano. Publix is a grocery store here in the South, but uh, I'll give you guys another... Um, all right, I think it's gone. Ah, Chelsea. Ooh, 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 ooh. Chelsea wants to sponsor y'all. Chelsea's name is going up on the board. Y'all know we got a new stream sponsor. I'm going to start putting checks by the name. Y'all know in school when you, uh, maybe if you were bad, you had your name written up, then you might have a check or two checks and it was really bad. Hello, Sean, thank you for being here. Chelsea, thank you for the $15. She says, thanks for all of your advice and tips. It is my absolute pleasure. I'm glad it's helpful. Let's get Chelsea up, Chelsea with all them whys. All right, so we have, all right. All right, so far our stream sponsor is Chelsea. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Y'all, I do not take it lightly. I didn't find $15 in the laundry today. So I don't take any of this for granted. Groceries are expensive. But Linda, for you, my dear, um, another cheese that you can try if you can't find the Pecorino Romano Manchego cheese. This is also a sheep's milk cheese and it comes from Spain. But you can see this one is a slice from the cheese wheel. So you can also find, this came from Publix but you can also find um, manchego cheese and you can grate this really fine, like they do at Olive Garden, put it in the thing and grate it. That's a good uh, option too. But this is our substitute for Parmesan. All right, so we've got our garlic and then for seasonings, we need pepper, parsley, and Italian seasoning. Okay, I should've got fresh parsley shucks, all right. Fresh is best if you can get it, but y'all know I'm not the food police, so use what you can. It is totally fine. Uh-oh, Chelsea is giving me hearts. Wilbert is looking. He is feeling some kind of way. I'm sorry, Wilbert. You know we love you so much. Let me just straighten that, y'all. A little OCD. Uh, yeah, you're welcome, Linda. Happy to help. And y'all can always ask me questions. Sometimes I see them, sometimes I miss them, but feel free. You know, I, I always used to drop the link. Nobody comes up, so I just stopped doing it. But if y'all ever have questions, you don't have to cam up. You can, um, if you want to chat, you're welcome to as well. All right, so let us continue on our recipe. So the seasonings, they said pepper, parsley, and Italian. So I have a pepper grinder. So we will put this in our Alfredo sauce. 
parsley. I should have bought fresh, but I have just this Walmart parsley flakes. So this is great. This is also a great garnish on, you know, anything that's kind of a uniform color. You can sprinkle with a little bit of parsley if it's a savory recipe and it gives it a nice little pop of color, shrimp or anything like that. And then Italian seasoning, because we're making an Alfredo. So I have this Sprouts Italian seasoning. All right. <laughs> Uh-oh. Sorry, Wilbert. Eek. The money wars. Uh-oh. <clears throat> what happened? I lost my recipe. Let's go back to it. Y'all would think I would have this stuff prepared. I don't. I finished working. I'm like, what are we cooking today? And I always used to try these recipes by myself. Oh, here it is. All right, so we have our seasonings. And then last is a quarter cup of bacon crumbles. So I did buy crumbled bacon. If you all, if you all would prefer, I'll give you an option. Uh, hi, Shifi. <laughs> I do have regular Smithfield thick cut bacon and we still have our turkey bacon. So if you all want the crumbles, we'll use the crumbles. If you want turkey bacon, I'll cook this and cut it up. Or if you want regular bacon, fresh bacon, I'll cook this and cut it up. So those are our instructions or our ingredients. All right, so let me go ahead and get suited and booted. Let's put our uniform on, see if we can, uh, make this cabbage pretty straightforward. So we'll see if it gives us the, what is it? Fettuccine Alfredo experience. I'm not a big pasta lover, but I do like like the zoodles, the zucchini noodles. But uh, if we can make a good dairy free cream sauce, this would be good. Terrell says real bacon. All right, so you got it. This says real bacon, but y'all know cooking it fresh, so I'll start with this since we have time. We'll put a couple strips. How many strips of bacon you want me to cook, Terrell? We'll put that in the air fryer and let it do, let it do its thing because I got to cut up the cabbage and everything else. All right. Hey, Whitney. So good to see you here, sweetheart. How's the family? How are the boys? How's the hubs? All right. So y'all want regular bacon. Okay. No problem. You can have it your way, Burger King. So we'll save this for a salad or, um, I don't know, what would we top this on, an omelet? But we like the real bacon, right? Whitney says, Alfredo is one of my faves. We are going to see if we can make a dairy-free version of it. And again, y'all, y'all saw the recipe. If you can have real heavy whipping cream, please have some for me. Um, I found this in the fridge. I need to toss it. There's not very much in here, but here's another option for my dairy-free scholars. Calithia Farms makes a dairy-free heavy whipping cream substitute. This is also a coconut cream substitute. So just love to give you all options. Whitney says the boys are awesome. Thanks for asking. Absolutely. We're, we are family. Da, 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 da. I got all my scholars with me. Da, 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 da. You didn't ask for that. I know. We do it anyway. All right. All right, so while Terrell is thinking how many strips of bacon he would like, we are going to, I cook my bacon in the air fryer. You can cook your bacon however you like. I just don't like getting popped and splattered. So we're gonna do it in the air fryer and it'll have plenty of time to cook and cool. Hello, Shaping. Thank you so much for being here. Coming through again, my dear. All right, let's get the drip tray. So we're gonna put the paper, put the bacon on the wire rack. It's gonna drip down into this tray. So we are going to let me move this out of the way. We are going to line this with foil. And Terrell, let me know how many strips of bacon you want on this cabbage. So you all can see, I like to give you different ideas. You can take your time and make a recipe work for you. You know, the first time I always do it their way. And then after that, I'll do it my way. Chelsea says, I catch myself using the air fryer more and more every day. I love it. Y'all, I'm in the South. Hello, uh, Bree or Big. Um, thank you so much for being here, Pisces. 
I'm in the South and it gets hot. So the air fryer is my countertop um, oven. And plus the boys are, well, one's at boarding school, one's with his dad. So it's just me when I'm cooking small portions for one or two, then I like to use the air fryer because it cooks faster and the, the house doesn't get as hot. I'll use the oven a couple times a year. It's great. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. All right, so now we have $5.02 added to Wilbert's $5.01. So hold on. Y'all know how I am. We got Chelsea. Let me save these, y'all. We got Chelsea with the 15 we had Wilbert with $5 and Wilbert with 501. So now adding to 1001, we have 1503. So Wilbert is now the stream sponsor. So I'm gonna save myself. I'm gonna move check marks. <laughs> so we're gonna say, uh, and we're gonna give Wilbert the star. All right. So Wilbert is the stream sponsor. Well, you can't see that. We'll give Wilbert a star. All right. <laughs> Wilbert is the stream sponsor at $15.03. So this cabbage is brought to you by $15.03 sponsor Wilbert. Chelsea says, yeah, Texas is hot and humid. Y'all, I am a woman of a particular age. Y'all know I'm old. I'm 47. I'll go back and forth between hot and cold. I am not trying to. Mm -mm. So here we go. and I line the drip tray for easy cleanup. I toss my bacon grease. If you keep your bacon grease, feel free. I am not the food police. Wilbert says, high value heroes unite. Chelsea says, hashtag money wars, hashtag only pans, Chelsea. Maggie is never on only fans. Maggie is always on only pans, all right? Chelsea says, I'm a big girl, so I'm always hot. I understand. Y'all, Chelsea trying to get me caught up. That's how rumors get started. Talking about all these rumors started every day. Something, something, rumors. There's something, something, something. I don't know what all the words are, but there's rumors in the song. If you know the words, help me remember them. Hello, Adam Wall. Thank you for being here. Wilbert says, exactly. Exactly. Oh, make a good reel. All right. Template sounds, you're on it. Okay. So we are going to cut into this bacon. And like I shared with you all, I like to cut in a U shape here so I can open the flap open and move the bacon over. When you cut it from the side and you pull it out of the side, to me it stretches the bacon and I don't wanna do that. Hello, Nicholas, thank you so much for being here. Tasha, you love it? Who do we have here? Oh, see y'all, I'm in trouble. See, Chelsea, see? Now I got that in the algorithm and Maggie's gonna be known for the wrong things. No, quiet storm. No, sir, I am not on only fans. I am only on only pan, so uh-uh, <laughs> no problems over here. All right, let me get some scissors and we're gonna cut into this. Kia says, I love my air fryer because I'm in Louisiana. Y'all are always hot. See, that's what I'm talking about. Look, I know I'm slow and I know I'm old. I take my time here. Y'all watch those other cooking shows. The perfect chicken goes in, the perfect chicken comes out. I'm not doing that. Y'all are gonna see exactly how I do it. See, Chelsea got me in trouble. Mm -hmm. Let me wash my hands. Exactly. One little letter makes all the difference. Next thing you know, Maggie's going low, 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 low. <laughs> Hello, Alfred, thank you. Exactly, exactly. Class, we got people watching. I told y'all there's always people watching from the clouds and I know who they are and they're watching. I always feel like Quiet Storm is watching me. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Let's get Terrell's bacon in here. 
See, Eds is watching. Exactly. Hello, Chris. Thank you for being here. Mm -hmm. Chelsea says, I removed my comment. Do not mute me. See, see, y'all get excited. See what happens over here. So I'm cutting the bacon. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all get, y'all get comfortable. Start throwing your coins around. Next thing you know, that's how rumors get started. Y'all gonna get Maggie caught up. See, everybody laughing. Kia's crying. Delisha's laughing. Mona's laughing. Mm hmm. S. Ed's over here, like, somebody told me this was a family friendly channel. Y'all got me over here. Oh, oh my gosh. Mm mm mm. How you do me like that? How you do me like that? All right, so we have our bacon flat package cut. All right. Yep, yep, yep. See, that's how stuff gets started. So let me just put a paper towel here. <laughs> exactly. Chelsea says we're gonna keep Chelsea says we're gonna keep it wholesome. Exactly. Wilbur says we won't mute you, Chelsea. Y'all see how Wilbur is throwing his weight around? Wilbur says we won't mute you, Chelsea, if you add your super chat to my total. Hashtag high value scamming. Hello, overstanding. Oh my goodness, Wilbert Petty Murphy is in the building. Oh my gosh, Wilbert is going for the jugular. I just make the snacks, y'all. Let's get this bacon out. All right, so you see, I open it this way and then I open the flap this way. This is just me. And then I lift the bacon with two hands. This will work for turkey bacon, beef bacon, anything. You may have to get underneath, underneath there with your fingers to kind of separate it so it doesn't stretch too much uh, because it's cold. I just got it out of the fridge and then I lay it down pretty easy. <laughs> See? Look at y'all. 10 plus is laughing. Chelsea is dying. Linda's laughing. Kia is embarrassed to be here. Kia is like, where did these people come from? Geneva. <laughs> Hello, sweetheart. Geneva says hashtag high value scamming. Mm -hmm. That's what we do over here. Wilbert, we are, high, we are, what is it? Wholesome and family friendly. We don't talk about uh, uh, X-rated content. We don't talk about um, scamming our fellow scholars. Okay. Is four pieces of bacon enough? I think that's good. Or should I get one more in here? All right. And then I'm going to put this in a gallon Ziploc bag. I think I can get one more in there for research purposes. Let's test it out. Because I'm greedy. Greedy Maggie. Ah, Chelsea says no. Chelsea put the buzzer on it. <laughs> okay. So we have five strips of bacon here. And I just took my time so that they go in the air fryer cleanly. So let me close this up and clean my hands and then clean up. Wilbert is over here scamming. Uh-oh. <gasps> Quiet Storm says, go to timeout, Wilbert. We don't scam in here. Exactly. Notorious Kevin. <laughs> All right, so Notorious Kevin Brooks has come in with $10. Y'all, let me do my struggle math. Y'all know how I am. Oh, my word. So Kevin Brooks was in here with the $10, right? So Not Notorious Kevin Brooks is now the stream sponsor at $20. So let me move my little uh, check mark because Wilbert and Chelsea are over in the corner fighting. <laughs> so let's move this. At this, so we have Kevin at $20. Kevin is our stream sponsor. All right, so we're going to get our bacon in the air fryer. Oh my goodness, what is happening? Chelsea says, out of here with that. She's crying tears. Oh no, y'all know who's here. Y'all know her and you love her. Everybody put hi Nana in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> mm 
Y'all know my mom. If you missed her yesterday, we had a good time. I was the student and Nana was the teacher. Mom says she never forget. <laughs> mom says I never forget my Hollywood. Do we mean Hollywood? <sighs> Hello, JSK. I never forget my Hollywood dance moves. Okay, mom sent me a message to send to the chat. Sorry, mom, I'm using all my devices. <sighs> they won't let me be great. Uh, mom, what message was I supposed to deliver to the chat? Delisha saying hi. Oh my gosh, Bonnie saying hi. Sandra saying hi, Nana. Gina says hi, Nana. Hello, Nana, we miss you already. Hello, Gina. Kia says hello, Nana. Hello, KNG. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Wilbur got put him in. Wilbur put Quiet Storm put Wilbur in time out. <laughs> Nana in the house. Y'all, our principal is here. Oh, my word. All right. Let's put this in uh, a Ziploc bag and put it away and clean the counters because I'm in trouble. Apparently, I forgot to deliver mom's messages and food. Can't do nothing, right? Goodness gracious, mom coming through to let me know. Uh, Kia says, ha ha, Nana. Tim plus down says, hello, Nana. He's such a huge fan of mom. Linda Kelly says, hi, Nana. Y'all missed it yesterday. The one and only Nana was here. We cooked um, red stew, spinach stew. Y'all saw my dad. Hello, Formitero. Y'all saw Papa the Chancellor come through and cut the yams because, you know, Maggie has memory foam muscles, which means they're soft. I don't have muscles. And uh, y'all saw Aunt Alex here before I had to take him back to boarding school. So we had a lot of fun yesterday. All right. So we got our bacon cooking and I will clean this up just to make sure we don't cross contaminate anything. Uh, Notorious Kevin Brooks says, hello, Nana. Terrell says, I'm feeling like Maggie on a smaller level. You got 10 subs today. Absolutely. Y'all, hmm. I know the journey. My channel is February of 22, so just over a year old. And um, that's what we do. We grow low and slow, especially because I have a cooking channel. Y'all know nothing goes viral over here. Welcome to Only Pans. Hello, honey. Thank you so much for being here. Yes, that's a win. That's a win. Wins, losses, and lessons up in here. Y'all gonna make me tell my story up in here, up in here. Y'all gonna make me act the fool up in here, up in here. I know that doesn't really go with my uh, <laughs> Maggie persona, but a little DMX, a little DMX. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Forgive me. Let me read. Let me read Mom's message to you. Hello, my lovely Fun Club members. So I will deliver my. Y'all, she won't let me be great. Thank you all for your love shown yesterday. I do know that it is Ghanaian custom to repeat thanks the day after you receive gifts. So yes, I was raised right. When someone does something nice for you, you thank them in the moment. And the next day you are to call them to thank them again, to show that it is not lost on you, the nice thing that they did. So mom is doing our Ghanaian custom, thanking you all the next day. Hello, Andrew. Hello, everybody coming in. <laughs> OMG. Terrell says, 10 is the new thousand. Let's do it. is up in here exactly we have fun okay i did i turned left on dmx y'all know y'all know me in my songs kevin is laughing at me look i told you i wasn't cool craig says oh, i am the anti-gangsta maggie is so not gangsta i'm like the un-gangsta so lame chelsea says i'm dead yes Mom puts me on blast all the time. She loves swooping in and telling me what I messed up with. Wilbert, 
is out of timeout and says the collective audacity of you all. You might mute me, but the petty power promptly prevails. All right, so at $20, Wilbert had the struggle math. I'm gonna move the arrow back over to Wilbert. You'll have to tell me your amount, Wilbert. I got multiple people competing for the top spot. Terrell gave $5 saying, throwing out five for the customs. Thank you, thank you. But this cabbage is brought to you by Wilbert. All right, I tell you, my scholars, Ron says 6,000, that was fast. Y'all, seriously, that's really what I was celebrating. I got 5,000 on Sunday. Today is Tuesday and I got another thousand. I am mind blown. Thank you all. So yeah, 500 in a day. So let's get Wilbert. <laughs> so Wilbert is now the stream sponsor again. All right, let me clean the counters. Yes, Kia says we love Nana. She's so sweet. She's sweet to y'all. Nana be tearing my hind parts up. Joe says accountability. I know, right? That's my fault. I was I was raised right. Delicia says, wow, yeah, y'all don't know that little lady. Woo, petty power. Hashtag money wars. Chelsea says hashtag only pan. She got it right, y'all. She got it right. Marie Marie says, <laughs> add $5 to Wilbert. Unmute yourself. I don't know your amount, Wilbert. Y'all gonna have to start doing your struggle math. Hello, uh, NGW. Oh my goodness, Wilbert is still the stream sponsor. Chelsea is laughing. Tim Plus is laughing. I appreciate all of you. I'm just cleaning because we had the bacon here. I appreciate all of you. Nana appreciates all of you. Mom spent the day with me yesterday. Got a manicure, pedicure. We cooked African food. We fried plantain. My dad and Alex uh, cooked the yam. I made spinach stew. I made red stew. Hello, Geneva. Thank you. Anybody on IG, if y'all want to see the screen share, you can come over to Facebook or YouTube. Wilbert is doing the struggle math. Oh my gosh, y'all look. Wilbert is adding his coins. He says he sent $5 and one cent plus $5 plus $5 and two cents from 10 plus sounds and then $15 that he scammed from Chelsea. And then $20 and $5 from Marie Marie. So Wilbert is up to $55 and three cents. Oh my gosh, Marie Marie, see what you started? Chelsea's dead. And mom says, Nana loves you all back and we love Wilbert, who can never be outstaged. Mom, you're creating a monster. Oh. Okay, y'all, let's check on the bacon. Cause y'all know I can burn and not in a good way. Um, and we'll take it out and put it on a paper towel. And we're gonna start cooking this, uh, preparing this cabbage. I need to get the paper towels. Kevin is laughing. Shaping is laughing. You know, in my mind, we're just going to have an easy breezy, simple class. And y'all come through with all of this. But I wouldn't have it any other way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bacon's looking good. Let's replace the paper towel. All right, I think I'm going to go ahead and prep everything. Then we're going to make our Alfredo sauce. Then we're going to saute our cabbage. And then we are going to um, put it together and top it with bacon. All right. So let's shred. Let's see what it says first. I don't know. All right. Melt butter. Da -da 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 I'm reading melt butter and heavy cream. Let's read it together and then we'll do the steps. One of the lessons that I've learned the hard way is to read through the whole recipe 
find out what I need and then have everything ready because I start doing the steps and then I'm not prepared. Wilbert says, high value hero, Nana approved. Y'all can create this monster if you want to. He says, y'all can't tell me nothing now. All right. So what do we need to do? Melt the butter and heavy cream in a saucepan over low heat. Sprinkle in Parmesan slowly while whisking until smooth. I like that. Then add the garlic. So how much garlic? I need a half teaspoon. So that's not much at all. Remove some heat, stir in the seasonings, and then slice the cabbage. Melt the garlic butter, saute the cabbage, and pour the sauce on top. All right, so let's get the um, cutting board. Chelsea says, I'll be back. Oh, she's down, but she's not out. Sandra says, I'm sorry I lost connection. How do we give money during a live video? All right, so Sandra, first of all, thank you, sweetheart. That is incredibly kind of you, and I mean it, y'all. You don't even have to be here. I don't care how big I get. Y'all will let me know. Hello, Lauren, my dear. Hello, Eugene. Um, yes, we're up to 6,000 on IG as well. Uh, and anybody over there, if you want to come to Facebook or YouTube, so the QR code in the top corner where it says support, you can scan that with your phone camera if you would like to send a cash app. I do have all of my links in the description, um, Mona uh, or any of the moderators if you want to drop that in there. If you're on Facebook, I believe there's an option at the bottom that says give Maggie stars or something like that. Um, but if you send me anything on Facebook, just let me know because it doesn't come through this software. I don't believe it does. So um, those are the options. But you can Venmo me. You can PayPal me. You can, uh, you can do a variety. And I appreciate you so, so much. Just asking how you can support. I appreciate it. 10 plus sounds is laughing. Whitney says, oh, no, when I make this, I'll use more garlic. Yeah, you love that stuff? Yeah. Garlic, you can easily double or triple it. If you like that garlic flavor, go for it. Maybe just a couple more minutes on the bacon. We'll take it out and let you all see. Thank you, Victoria, for the cutting board. Even mom likes it. Oh, thank you, Sandra. That is so sweet. Y'all are such a blessing to me, my family. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I am well aware there's a lot going on. I'm well aware that y'all could be watching anything else. And the fact that you come here, I'm just making dinner. I didn't think anybody would care. So I really appreciate it. Let me get some garlic. I'm going to keep the real one, I mean, the, the whole one here just for, um, to make it look fancy. So I had one that was down to its last few cloves. So we have a few, a few cloves of garlic. These are all the little bulges that you see in here, but I won't break that one open. So we need only a half a teaspoon of garlic. All right. So that is not much at all. You all can see this is a half teaspoon, so it's going to be very, very little. Let's check on this. I'll go a little bit longer on the bacon, but I just don't want it to burn. Hello, Mr. Option One says, hello, everyone. Just checking in. Hello, kind sir. Nana is here in the chat. We were just saying hello. We're keeping track of everything. Everybody's on their best behavior. Wilbur is our current stream sponsor. He has scammed other scholars, so he has taken the lead with $55.03. According to his magic math, everybody is behaving, and I'm cutting the garlic for only pans. All right. So one of the things you can do to eyeball if you need this much, it's really just that small one. So let's go ahead and smash that and take that papery skin off. So you have your beautiful smooth garlic. This is what you want in your recipe. And we'll see if we can dice it up. Mom taught me to cook with my senses, so don't just set it and forget it. I'm watching the bacon. Y'all know we want that nice little color. And the dice is just a, a mince. is just a really fine chop. 
So we've got nice little slices of garlic, but we're gonna get in there and get it um, even smaller. With garlic, a little bit goes a long way. It's a flavor used in a lot of cuisine since we're making Alfredo. This is Italian inspired. No, I'm not Italian. Have I been there? Yes. <laughs> yes, everybody say hello. Wilbert says I'm being good. Please do not remove me from the micro board. Yes, Wilbert wants to keep his pole position. So I'm just running my knife through here, especially with garlic. You wanna try and cut it fine or blend it if you can, because uh, a little bit goes a long way. All right, that should be good, yeah. Just kind of eyeballing it, that's perfect. All right, we're gonna take that bacon out. I'm gonna take it out, put it on the paper towel, let you all see it. Hello, Norm, hello, Tom. I'm gonna let you all see it, make sure you approve, and we'll just let it kind of sit on the paper towel. No problem. Oh, $55.03. Of course, we can't forget about the three cents. All right, so we have Terrell's bacon, paper towel, We'll scrape up our bacon for just a second and let's bring our oh yeah this looks good i'll bring it here so y'all can see Whew. all right so we got our bacon <laughs> nice and foamy i'm going to see if i can Get it all off here since Terrell wanted proper bacon. And I'm gonna do one little blot with a paper towel and then just let it sit. Whew. Bacon is one of those things that you can cook ahead of time. Hello, Infinite Sonia. Sonia's the one who asked me way back when last year, are you gonna cook anything live? My channel really was like, um, slideshow pictures of what I was doing. All right, so the bacon is done. We use regular bacon because that's what uh, Terrell wanted, but you could do turkey bacon or you could do bacon crumbles. So this is gonna be crumbled up and put on top of our uh, cabbage Alfredo. Everybody feeling good? Chelsea likes it. Oh, Nana says, hello, Mr. Option One is in the house. Nana appreciates and thanks you all. All right, so let's leave that here. I don't save my bacon grease. If y'all do, that's totally fine. I'm hot already. Let me turn on the air. All right. In the south, it starts at one temperature and then it goes down. But all right, what does Mr. Option One say? Salute Templar Sounds. Did Maggie show you the new pictures? Yes, I sent him the link. Link. Hello, analytical. Hello, two weeks notice. Yes, yes, yes. So if anybody does not know what Mr. Option One is talking about, I do have three YouTube channels. Maggie, the substitute teacher, is my cooking channel. Uh, I'm here for you all every day, something food related. So we've got our garlic. I'm gonna just scrape up everything extra. I've also been on an etiquette and elegance journey so that I can refine. And that is Teachable Moments with Maggie. I, sw I stream for y'all there two times a month. Every other Wednesday night, we do something, you know, etiquette related. Um, and then the Wives Club is my relationship channel once a week. And I had some photos done for the Wives Club. So if y'all haven't seen them, I'll give you a sneak peek once we get to a stopping point. Chelsea says, yes. Whitney says, bacon looks good. Uh, Mr. Option One says, hello, Nana. I appreciate you. Templar Sound says, I'm on it already. Yes, we're going to update the cookbook. <sighs> New Maggie in town. Okay. And then we got garlic. Everything else is pourable or whatnot. And let's go ahead and uh, cut up this um, cabbage. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the whole cabbage. 
Hello, Sarah. Uh, cabbage is one of those that um, it looks like a lot, kind of like spinach because it is a lot. But once you um, saute it down, it kind of wilts and it gets softer and softer. All right. So let's take off these leaves and then we'll try and get down to the nice, smooth cabbage. Perfect. So we'll rinse this and chop. And again, let me wash it first. Again, you all can use, I'm gonna to toss these, but you can use your cabbage leaves for uh, lettuce wraps or anything, it's big enough. You could even do, I guess, like a burger. Um, sometimes people do, you know, the burger with the lettuce buns, but basically uh, consider your cabbage, <laughs> consider using cabbage as um, jewelry. It could be an accessory or uh, you could use it as a bread substitute or um, chop it up and cook it like we're going to do. <laughs> Chelsea needs a cookbook. Link is in the description, sweetie. Cookbooks are $20, but I do have a discount code for you all. They're $5 off uh, with the discount code cookbook. And my cookbook has you all's favorite recipes. Hello, um, Dweezy. I put a poll on my page. You all voted for what recipes you wanted. Wilbert's um, uh, stuffed mushrooms are in there. I think Mona wanted Maggie cakes, but it is an ebook. So you download it, you get it right away and you get the actual recipe and then a video of me making it so you can watch it or read it or do both. All right, so yes, go ahead. Oh. There we are. Whitney says, Diva, yes, y'all like the lettuce earrings. Hello, Randy. Randy coming in from the West Coast, gonna be with me 4th of July. Oh. oh. Mr. Option One says, <clears throat> why is everybody coming through putting me on blast? He says, 10 plus sounds. I hope Maggie is paying you well. I might need a new company logo also. I may reach out. Mm. Chelsea says, yes, I didn't know it was already out. Definitely ordering tonight. Yes, ma'am. All right. So we have our cabbage here. Um, 10 plus sounds. If he's not overwhelmed, y'all know he is my um, graphic designer. All of the logos, all of the stuff um, that I have that you all see, all of these overlays. He made this yesterday for Nana. Y'all know about my teachable moments, the collabs that we do. All of that is 10 plus sounds. So let me know if I'm taking good care of you. All right, let's rinse off our cabbage head. All right. Hey, everybody coming through telling on Maggie. So again, if you like uh, egg rolls or spring rolls, what you can do is you can easily peel off the lettuce like we did and wrap up your meat and veggies inside and eat it that way. You can steam them or have them raw. All right, so let me go ahead and cut the uh, whatever this is, the stem off. And I'm just going to I don't know, this is kind of big. Let me see if I can cut it in half. If something's too big, and I have kind of small hands, if something is too big for you to handle, you know, don't hurt yourself. That's what I do like with watermelon or whatnot. I cut it in half and then I work with a half and then go to the other half. All right, so you have this beautiful uh, rings of uh, cabbage inside. So I'm just gonna set that off to the side while I chop this and let me get a big bowl so we can put it in. What are y'all talking about? Ooh, 10 plus sounds says Maggie is generous. Whew, almost got in trouble. Mr. Option One says, nice Maggie. Let me know when you have a hard copy. I will buy the first 25 copies. You want 25 copies of my cookbook? Oh. Okay, so 10 plus sounds. We have a big order. Um, we wanna change the uh, cover or the back we need to update the pictures so yes i'll let you know mr option one hello uh i imported you imported you thank you so much all right let's get a big bowl for our cabbage all right. so we have some heavy hands in the 
Maggie, the substitute teacher community. Sheesh. Thank you. All right. So let me just go in here and I'm just going straight down using the flat surface so that I have stability so it's not wobbly. If you ever have trouble cutting, that's one thing you can do. I think the recipe said, hello, Bill. I think the recipe said to cut it into like noodle strips. I'm just making them small. I guess this is probably a little bit better size for like a noodle. Think of your, what kind of pasta? What is everybody's favorite pasta shape? Are you a fettuccine lover or fettuccine or linguine? Um, I'm not making fun. They actually pronounce every syllable uh, when I was in Italy last year. Uh, do you like spaghetti? Do you like rigatone? What do you all like? All right, so we have our little strips of cabbage in here. So we're just gonna keep going. And I'm gonna do the whole head of cabbage. I might need a bigger bowl. I like, what type of pasta shape do I like? Y'all know I eat zoodles, I'm gluten-free, but when I do eat pasta, and yes, I ate pasta in Italy and it was so good. Um, I like a pasta that's not like a long noodle. I like a pasta that gets the sauce and everything in those nooks and crannies. So, yeah. All right, so we're gonna keep going here. All right. Um, Tasha likes rice noodles, okay. Whitney likes fettuccine. Sandra likes uh, spaghetti. Chelsea wants a hard copy uh, cookbook. I'll have to sign it for you. Hello, JCC community, thank you. Um, Y'all, I need a bigger bowl, shucks. Oh, all right, let's do this other half of the... I think I like the bow tie pasta. I think it's called farfall, or they probably say farfalle or something like that. But yeah, I like the bow tie pasta. One that I can eat easily with the fork, like stick it in. I don't have to do that twirling thing because I'm greedy. me to work. Hello. Oh, uh, import, import. I can't say your name. Uh, like orquete. That's the one that's shaped like the ear. That's Latin, I believe, for ear. Hello, ND. Thank you so much for being here. Yes, I do. I like the type of pasta that I don't have to do all that with. Y'all, this is, I need a really big bowl. This is not going to cut it. We might have to use the wok, class. We might have to use the walk. I know I have a big old bowl. Oh. All right, let me rinse this off because I'm running out of space here. Tasha likes a bow tie. You don't like the rice noodles. Uh, oh, thank you. Chelsea's going to get the down the ebook and a hard copy. Yes, yeah, so if y'all want a hard copy and you want me to sign it or something like that, just let me know. You can inbox me. Um, there is a version of the cookbook out right now, and it has the cartoon Maggie on it. It has, I don't think we have it on here. It has this version up there in the, um, that's what's on there. But uh, I have new photos. So let me know if anybody didn't see the uh, photo shoot. I'll give you a sneak peek. So let's keep going here. Uh, J Community Outreach says, what are we making tonight? Fettuccine. No, I'm thinking fettuccine. Cabbage Alfredo. <laughs> yeah, cabbage Alfredo. And if you want to see, I've got the recipe playing on... Um, What's it called? IG. I mean, Facebook and YouTube, but I did put it in the description. Whew. All right. Working our way. You know, the cabbage has like this core here, so I'm just trying to cut around it. So that's why yeah, I've gone like this side, I've gone this side. So I'm going to turn it this way and just kind of get close to that. Now, this is not noodle length, but this is a lot. Big old head of cabbage. Uh, 
Delisha likes the fettuccine. Yeah, I know somebody that likes the the wide flat one. I think that's either fettuccine or linguine. But yeah, you like what you like. And you know, I learned this in Italy. Each pasta is unique to the different regions in Italy and each pasta is made for a certain sauce. So like angel hair pasta, that's really light and like shoestrings is made for like the, what is it? Shrimp, the scampies and you know, like the, the, the lighter sauces. And then when you eat the heavier, like meat sauces, you have a more dense noodle. It was wonderful. It was wonderful. All right, y'all, my garlic. All right, I'm gonna stop here. We have the big stem of the um, cabbage, so I'll toss this. Ah, you like Singapore rice noodles. I've never had um, Singapore rice noodles. I have had, um, there's all kind of like rice noodle substitutes and gluten-free options. Um, but yeah, I've never had that before. All right, so I think we're done with all the prep. Now we're ready to make our sauce. So I got two big bowls of um, cabbage. So I'm gonna move these behind me just so we can get our cooktop out. All right. Our bacon is looking good. I almost wanna taste one for research purposes, but I think we're good. We got it nice and, and crispy. It'll crumble up well over everything. Glamorous is with all that cabbage, it should last a few days. I know, right? And it's just me, what are we doing? But the recipe says use a head of cabbage. I probably could have used like a half a head, but yeah. Let's see. All right, so let me clean up. Mom says clean as you go. So let's get this. All right. And then let's clean up here. Got a little cabbage on the floor. All right, toss that. All right, so we're good with the garlic. Let's move this. Oh man, I smushed my garlic butter. Shucks, it softened up. All right. Making sure everybody can see. What does mom say? Go girl, Nana would like a copy with your dedication page that 10 plus personalized. Oh boy, hello John, hello big homie. Uh, my dedication page, do I ne need to dedicate that to my mom who taught me everything I know? Absolutely. Mom, your cookbook is next. I actually have Nana's recipes I wanted to get my cookbook out before I went to London and I got that done, but um, I wanna do many more cookbooks, um, you know, for the African food, for, you know, sugar-free options, dairy-free options. The one that I have now is all sugar-free, dairy-free and gluten-free, but you know, everybody's different. So yes, mom, of course you will get a personalized and signed cookbook. Okay, it's from the bacon. Let's move this out of the way. Whew. All right, so let's get our cup top and start making our Alfredo sauce. This should be good. Now you can make this Alfredo sauce. If you like the way that I make it, you can make your own Alfredo sauce and use noodles. Uh, we're gonna make the Alfredo first and then we are going to set it to the side and then we're gonna cook our noodles, our cabbage, and then we'll combine them together. <laughs> Miss Strong, you joined just back in time. You only missed Wilbert shenanigans, but all is well, all is well. Yes, and y'all, y'all can always multitask. You can watch without listening. You can listen without watching. You can uh, leave early, no, come, er come late, leave early. I'm just happy that you're here. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. All right. So y'all wanted to use the country crock heavy whipping cream substitute. So we will give that a try. All right. So what are the instructions? First, I need to get a big skillet. All right. 
Melt the butter and heavy cream in a saucepan over low heat. So let's get a saucepan. This is actually bigger than a saucepan. A saucepan would be the little smaller one that you make sauce in, but I'm looking at all that cabbage, so. All right, so how much butter? Two tablespoons. All right, so you have your plant butter, but y'all, I'm just gonna use this little janky plant butter that's left, okay? Don't judge me. I just hate having, I always like give y'all the new stuff, but then I have all these little partial ingredients in the fridge. All right, so butter and heavy cream. How much heavy cream? One cup. All right. So if you can have dairy, please have some for me. Use your heavy whipping cream. Y'all wanted to give this a try. So we are using the country crock plant cream. You can see this is our heavy whipping cream, dairy free substitute. All right. And this was plant butter. I threw the package away, but so far everything is dairy free. So y'all can see <laughs> sorry, reaching in the trash. I'm using earth balance. So this is our plant butter. Um, all right, so let me wash my hands and get our cream in there and we'll turn this on a low. All right, so we need one cup of cream. All right, so we have our measuring cup. We have one cup. Y'all see my phone up here? It's just me. <laughs> <clears throat> Nothing fancy. We just make it work. All right, so let's shake this up first. Sometimes the plant-based creams, especially the ones that are coconut creams, like especially the ones that come in the can, you might want to give them a little shake because you may have little bits of like the... Um, coconut. It doesn't bother me at all, but if you want it to kind of pour more smooth, you can shake it up. Shake it off. Shake it off. Is that the song? Shake it up. Shake it up. Uh-uh. Uh. All right. So one cup of cream. So y'all can see it pours nice and white and creamy, but this is plant-based. So no dairy. Let me hold it well so I don't splatter. All right, so we have our cup of cream, y'all can see. So let's add that to the butter. All right, what does it say? Sprinkle in the Parmesan and whisk until smooth, okay? How much Parmesan? I don't know. Mom says I need to get my ingredients ready. Hello, Alexander. Um, Parmesan, oh, a cup of Parmesan, okay. So we're gonna use, again, my substitute for Parmesan, which is our Pecorino Romano. All right, so this is my dairy-free substitute made from sheep's milk. Yeah, Kia's asking about the cookbook. I don't have a hard copy yet. Apparently, Mr. Option One is going to buy um, 25 of them. But the cookbook link is a, um, it's an ebook. So. It's an ebook, meaning you guys get it as a PDF, and if you wanted to have it printed, you could. I haven't done that yet, but it sounds like I need to. Yee! All right. But yes, I was just saying, if anybody wants a hard copy cookbook, like with me to sign, just inbox me, so I'll order it to myself. I'll have it printed, and then I'll sign it to you and ship it to you. You know, no extra charge. Just whatever I have to pay to get it printed, but I won't charge you for shipping. All right, so we've got a cup. This is our Pecorino Romano, or if you can have Parmesan, put in your Parmesan. So our dairy-free cheese, and for me, when I say dairy-free, that means avoiding cow dairy, okay? So this came from Publix, and you can see it's made from sheep's milk, but this gives you that dry, salty, aged Parmesan. So let me get the whisk and whisk in there. All right. So it says whisk until smooth. We all see what's going on over here. So we wanna get that cheese and cream and butter melted together. Whitney says, so all this plant-based stuff, is it expensive? Um, so this is $4.49. I don't know if you can see the price there. $4.49 from Publix. 
I don't know how much this is, maybe like $3. So, I mean, for any of y'all, hello, I am. Uh, for any of y'all who are new here, I've been on a health and wellness journey working with a metabolic specialist and I was tested for food sensitivities. So I have a list of foods that I can have, hey, Jersey, and a list of foods that I have to avoid. So that's why I make substitutes, but you can absolutely do this recipe. She used heavy whipping cream, so you can get the regular heavy whipping cream. All right, so this looks pretty mixed up well. Let me get a spoon rest. But for me, I just feel so much better when I eat um, and I've been able to get, you know, a lot of this weight off by eating what my body tolerates well. But please do what works for you. All right, so y'all can see we're starting to simmer. We have a nice creamy Alfredo sauce and I'm gonna taste it. All right, just because I want to know. We haven't put any seasonings in it yet, but I taste as I go. Mmm. The, um, the cheese, the shake cheese. Mm. Chelsea says, Whitney, there are some pricey things that are plant-based, but with the plant-based being so popular, uh oh, let's turn this down. The prices aren't as bad as they once were. Good to know. Okay. Sprinkle in the Parmesan, whisk until smooth, add the garlic. So we diced up fresh garlic, so we're gonna add that in here. So we have a garlic Alfredo, come to me mama. Now, again, if you don't have the fresh one, remember you could squeeze in some of this stuff, garlic paste, all right? So let's stir that in. Add the garlic, remove from heat and stir in the seasonings. So I guess you don't wanna scorch it. All right, so I just turned off the stove and then we'll put in the seasonings. What were the seasonings? Half teaspoon of pepper, parsley, and Italian seasoning. All right, so let's clean this up. Clean as we go. Let's get our seasonings. Do we have our half teaspoon? I know I had it somewhere. I'll figure it out. I feel like I had it out, but it's okay. I don't know how it's like, I know I had something. So we have a whole teaspoon, so I'll just have to eyeball it. It's not the end of the world. All right, so we're going in with the Italian seasoning. Let me see if I can pop this open without destroying my... One moment. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. I know. All right. So let's get our Italian seasoning in here, about half. All right. Italian seasoning. And then parsley. We're going to go in with the parsley. You're welcome, Kia. Chelsea says, in Texas, we have H-E-B and they are, they are your go-to for healthy foods. Yes, y'all can do Whole Foods, you can do Publix, you can do even Kroger and a lot of the regular grocery stores, our parsley um, are really coming up. Even Walmart really coming up with a lot of healthy options. Hello, Ellen. And um, excuse me, the grocery delivery services that I use and then the pepper, we're just gonna, really to taste, stir in the seasonings. All right, so we have our Italian seasoning, our parsley and our pepper. So I'm gonna stir this in and then I'll give it one more taste. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna cover this so it doesn't get too much of that skin on it. And then we're gonna saute our cabbage. I think I'm gonna have to use the wok for the cabbage y'all because that's a big, cabbage. All right, so let's give this a taste. Our Alfredo sauce. All right. Whitney says, I live in Michigan. Your main store is Aldi. Yes, we have Aldi here as well. You'll check out what they have. Absolutely. Yes, 
doesn't have to be no brand, no um, name brands. And I been on a journey, a lot of stuff that says healthy don't taste good and I need it to taste good. Mm. Woo! And garlic and that Italian seasoning. Mm -hmm. All right, so what we're gonna do, and it says, remove from heat and stir in seasoning. So our Alfredo sauce is ready. I'm just gonna move this over here. And then now, I think we're gonna use the wok. Slice the cabbage into half inch thick, did that. Melt the garlic butter in the skillet. So we're gonna use our big old wok. Chelsea says we don't have H-E-B when you visit your niece and her husband in San Antonio. They take you there and you love that story. Yeah, I've had a delivery from H-E-B in Texas, but I've never been inside one. Hello, Abasani. You have Albertsons. Okay, I think that's like part of the Kroger family, right? Whitney says the sauce looks good. <laughs> oh, you haven't even seen me dance yet. Chelsea says, yes, H-E-B is bomb. We used to have Albertsons, but they closed. Okay, let's get our walk out. All right. And I just need something big enough for all that cabbage. So it says melt the garlic butter and saute until tender. So we're gonna cook our garlic, I mean our cabbage in here. How much garlic butter? All right, two tablespoons. Now y'all, up until now I've been dairy free. If I really wanted to stay dairy free, I would get one of these butters, the goat's butter or the plant butter and then squeeze a little bit of garlic paste in there. But I did get this Kerrygold, I smashed it, but I did get some Kerrygold garlic and herb butter. So I'm giving y'all the substitutes, but this um, Irish butter, with the stuff already mixed in, garlic and herb, I'm gonna give this a try. Two tablespoons, they don't have the lime, so I'll just have to eyeball it like Nana said. So we'll put a nice healthy pat in here and cook our cabbage in there. <sighs> Whitney says, you wish they were bigger too. Lady Nova says, Maggie, oh, you missed it. You'll play it back. Oh yeah, we're still here. All right, so let's melt some butter in here. Let's turn this down. Oh my gosh, the smell. And of course it's getting all in my face and my clothes and my hair, but I will be all right. Let's let that melt down. And we're gonna toss all of that cabbage in there. Just trying to move it around so I don't have any dry spots. All right, let's get our cabbage, whole head of cabbage in here. Joe says, H-E-B is the truth. I may have to do that one day. I may have to um, go to different grocery stores when I travel. Like when I went to Sprouts, I did a little short, my first time there, my first time in Whole Foods. All right, cabbage coming in. That's a lot, y'all. I might have to, let me make sure I separate it well. And I still have like this little piece right here. I'm gonna toss this because I've got the um, little stem. I feel like I should just do half. Should I do the whole thing? Let's see how it cooks down. What do y'all think? This is a lot. This is just half. That was a big cabbage though. Let's see. Miss Strong says you wish you had ATB in Arizona. Is it like Wegmans? Is it like, um, let me get tongs so I can really get it up underneath there. Is it like Publix? All right, so we're gonna let the cabbage just kind of wilt down. Yeah, I got another couple big chunks in here, y'all. It smells so good with that garlic butter. All right, I'm gonna leave this for a couple seconds while I put away some ingredients. I'm not going anywhere, but we're just gonna clean up a little bit, see if we can get this to simmer down a little bit. Let 
but yep, a lot of stuff you can get on Amazon too if it's not perishable. What does Whitney say yet? Y'all can ask any questions. Whitney says, I'm wondering if the cabbage will still have the crunch or now. For an Alfredo, we want it to be soft like a noodle or do you want it crunchy? We can do either way. All right, mom said cook with all your senses. You hear it popping? I'm just kind of turning it over. You know how it starts to cook down and kind of gets glossy? I'm frying a little bit. I got another big piece of the, uh, what is this, the um, stem. So I'm tossing those when I see them. And we'll turn it down a little bit. I didn't do a good job of cutting it, but. So when your cabbage starts to cook, you'll get to see those softer, browner, but I might be a little too hot. Might need a little bit more butter. Cabbage can be a little bit unruly. All right, you said HD. HYV, Mayher, and the Super Kroger. Ah, interesting. All right, let's clean up. So as you hear it start to splatter, you know, because a lot of vegetables are mostly water, you're hearing the water kind of come out and splatter on the... Um, Skillet, walk. So I'm just kind of moving it around. I want to be natural. Thank you so much for being here. For making cabbage Alfredo today, or trying to. I'm gonna let this cook down. I like it a little bit soft. So let's see what we can get it. Y'all can see how it's starting to soften up, but we're not there yet. What does it say? Saute until tender. Chelsea says we have Kroger, but Texas seems pretty divided. If you like H-E-B, you don't care for Kroger and vice versa. Okay, the grocery wars. Miss Strong says Albertsons was just bought by Kroger, I believe, okay? Chelsea says my little sister only shops at Kroger and you're at H-E-B. A family divided. Oh my goodness. All right, let's clean up. As I do other things, I just kind of come in here and move it around because obviously the heat source is at the bottom and we don't want it to burn. So we want to move the um, move the noodles around the pan. We're getting there. I got a little brown butter action going on and some big chunks. For this recipe, if you have a big cabbage, I probably would have used the outer parts of the cabbage. The closer you get to the stem, or as we say in the South, the root, the root, um, it's a little bit chunkier texture, but we're getting there. You can see how the, the pieces are, and I want to taste it. Whitney says, Mayor is a good store. I grew up on Mayor. Chelsea says, we don't have Mayor or Publix here. Okay, we have Publix here. Um, and some Kroger's are super nice. We have Super Walmart. Kia says, I love Albertsons and they merged with Kroger. We have a lot of family owned grocery stores here in Louisiana. Chelsea says, I really want to start buying my produce from the farmer's markets. Yes, you know, you just feel so healthy shopping at the farmer's market. 
they don't deliver, so I can't do nothing about that. <laughs> Y'all know, or if you don't know, we got a lot of new people here. I work from home. I get all my services done at home, so if I don't have to go out, I had a grocery order delivered today. I think this is looking pretty good, y'all. Let me know what you think. I'm looking for the glossiness on the um, cabbage, and this is only half. Hello, Godson. Um, just scrape it down from the sides. I think it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna give it a taste to see if we have that garlic butter flavor. So some of my pieces I cut up well, some I didn't. But I'm just looking for that nice noodly texture. What do y'all think? Are we looking pretty good? I'm gonna give it a taste. Good or a little bit more. Let's go in here. It's good. I wanna salt it, but we do have a salty Alfredo sauce. All right. Tasha says it looks good. All right. Pour Alfredo on top and mix it up. All right, so what I'm going to do, since this is supposed to be a pasta, I'm gonna take out any of the big chunks of cabbage that don't really give me the noodle experience. All right. Nothing wrong with them, but since this is supposed to be a pasta, any of these big flat pieces, I really wanted to put like a, a Polish sausage or something on here, turkey sausage. Let me just reach in here. I think we got most of the big chunks out. It's gotten nice and soft. A little kitchen snack for you. <laughs> ah, Geneva says looks good. Yes. You want to eat it just like this? Exactly. Whitney says it looks good. Mallory says, hello, how are you all? You're never late, my dear. You never heard of cabbage Alfredo? Neither have I. So this is what we're making. We're about to pour the sauce on for anyone who just hopped in. Just take a piece of fettuccine noodles and saute in a little bit of garlic butter until tender. Pour on the Alfredo sauce, top with a little bit of bacon crumbles, and you're ready to serve. This meal is so delicious. Tonight's recipe is creamy cabbage Alfredo. For the sauce, you need butter, heavy cream, Parmesan cheese, garlic, black pepper, parsley, and Italian seasoning. Sorry, y'all. I got the uh, cabbage on there. Garlic butter and until tender. Pour on the well, that's where we're at. We're going to pour it on and mix and top with the bacon. All right, let's turn this down. All right, no more sound. All right. So our, our Alfredo sauce is getting a little bit of a skin on it, but once we pour it on here, it will definitely come back to life. So we're pouring all this. This is a dairy-free Alfredo sauce because we're using a plant-based. Let me get a spatula. Y'all know I'm greedy. Hold up. We gotta make sure we get all of that. All right. We're using, uh, the recipe calls for heavy whipping cream. But I try to stay dairy free, trying to get the rest of this weight off. Um, and I can't really tolerate that dairy well. I just get really achy and joint pain and a lot of stuff we think, a lot of stuff I thought was just aging was actually my diet. All right, so we got our Alfredo. Hello, Step. Hello, Street. All right, we're going to mix this in. It looks good already. You love fried cabbage with sausage. I know. Wouldn't that be good on here? I wanted to get some. I would. No. It's actually more. And I only used half the cabbage. It actually cooked down pretty well. All right. So now we're going to crumble the bacon in here. 
I'm gonna taste it with the sauce. Y'all know we don't waste over here. All right. I taste every step of the way, so I'm just gonna get a piece. Oh yeah. The sauce to me was a little salty when I first tasted it and the cabbage was a little bland, but together, the garlic butter. All right, let's get this bacon on here. So I cooked some fresh bacon. I'm just gonna see if I can crumble it by hand. If you don't wanna do that, you can use your kitchen shears. We cooked this earlier and just let it sit. A little bit bigger than a crumble. I bought the bacon crumbles pack, but y'all said no, you wanted real bacon. So all right, let's mix that up. And we're ready to serve. Did I underdo the um, amount of cabbage? Is it too saucy? Is it just right? I feel like um, I should have used that whole cabbage, but all right. I probably should have left one bacon to like crumble extra on the top, greedy. Should have done that. All right, we're gonna plate, see how we like it. Hello, guy. So this was vegetarian up until the bacon. <laughs> um, do I want a black plate? That's a light color. One of my plating hacks, if I'm serving something that's a light color, I'll put it on a black plate so that it pops. If I had a darker color, like a steak, I would use a white plate. All right, so let's see what we can do here for presentation. Taste it, and then we're done. All right, so I'm gonna try and get this. Ay, I should have brought the plate closer. That's what I get. Try and get the, I'll wipe it off. Try and get a nice couple pieces of bacon on top. All right, and then we all eat with our eyes first. So if you make a mess, just clean it up before you serve the family so it's not sloppy. I know that's a small portion, but let's see. And then we'll do a little bit of fresh black pepper. It looks good. Let's do some pepper. And I think what I'll do just to be extra We'll get a little bit of our Parmesan, sprinkle a little bit on the plate too for a garnish, and a little bit of parsley, hence the reason why we have the black plate. All right. And just a little parsley for green. If I had fresh, that'd be better. That looks amazing. All right, let's get our pictures so you all can see our bacon, cabbage, add bacon crumbles onto, oh, Mallory, Mallory, yes. The bacon crumbles that Terrell didn't want. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes, all right, let me move this behind me before I knock it over. So who wants some, come and get it. All right, bacon crumbles, exactly. I 
I know we have the bacon crumbles here. We're gonna put those on the top and take a picture and a taste. I put them in here, y'all. Come, y'all. Oh my gosh. Well, what did I do? Did I put it in here? Yes, put it in the fridge. Oh. I'm getting old, y'all. Great plating. Okay. So this is what I bought to put on there, but Terrell wanted real bacon, so I cooked real bacon. But Mallory, genius, genius, just for the garnish, okay? So we got some real bacon crumble. Now I wish I had the white plate. All right, let's put a few, a few more. All right, your dinner is ready. How does that look? Sandra says, yummy, <laughs> glamorous plates matter. Yes, 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 looks amazing, looks so good. Hello, Mystic, hello, everyone. You order extra sauce on your pizza. Oh, you want some of that uh, Alfredo sauce? Um, let me see if I can get you a little extra Alfredo sauce. Oh, I made a mess. A little drizzle. All right, let me clean that. All right, it looks really good. All right, so what I'll do for the cookbook, just put a little sprinkle of Parmesan there. A little bacon, looks really yummy, okay, good. All right, so that's done. Oh, let's take a picture and a video and take a taste. Oh, let's move y'all. So janky. One second, I gotta do it all. Okay. So it looks like uh, something professional, which it is not, and y'all get to see everything. Right. Now, let's take a picture. Looks yummy. Thank you, Mystic. All right. So y'all know me. I take multiple pictures from multiple angles, and then you all will see this on my uh, YouTube. I mean, yeah, my community tab. This is what I used to do, and people would say, did you make that? Hello, big dog. But you know what? For me, like, even if I'm eating something healthy, sugar-free, dairy-free, gluten-free, like, I want to look forward to it. I want to enjoy, right? I don't want to just be something slapped together. So some with the flash, some without the flash. Then I do a quick video. Sean! Sean, how are you? Oh, my goodness. Please tell me that I can tell everybody who you are. If not, I won't. But Sean says, looks good. And you know, I don't waste food. Oh my gosh. I just saw you on uh, IG. All right, let's do a quick video. So tonight we made cabbage Alfredo with uh, cabbage, uh, dairy-free butter, plant-based cream, Pecorino Romano, and then we have bacon and bacon crumbles with a little bit of Alfredo Italian seasoning and butter. Enjoy. Delicia's here with her plate. All right, so your gluten-free pasta Alfredo with bacon. Let's give it a try. All right, we got all our pictures because I used to just get in there and eat and then I was like, oh man, it was good. I should have taken a picture. All right, fork. So Sean, <laughs> if you're in town, come get the rest of it because I got a lot. Oh my gosh. All right, so let's get in there. We got our Alfredo sauce. We got our bacon.
You have the crunch of the cabbage, y'all. It's on my face. How you have the creaminess of the sauce. Hello, Harry. You have the saltiness of the bacon and the saltiness of the um, Alfredo and the Parmesan. Y'all, I'm hot. Oh my God. It is so good. One more bite. And then I can't read what Sean said. I took my glasses off. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. One moment. This is not elegant. Y'all would eat that. Y'all would eat that. Oh my God. Sugar free. I'm hot y'all. Mostly dairy free. I did use the Kerrygold butter at the very end. Y'all, this is so good. This is so good. Knee slapping, yes. Ow, <laughs> that hurt. I want one more bite, but I already said one more bite. Yes, Maggie. Okay, Miss Maggie, y'all. I'm old. I got to watch it. All right. Sean says, of course I can. Y'all. Okay. Y'all know I am many things. Sorry, y'all. I'm hot. <laughs> I'm old. Y'all know I am many things. I am a mom. I'm a home cooker. Um, a YouTuber. I got a lot going on. But you may not know, I am also an Airbnb hostess. Team Greedy. So my house has like um, an in-law suite that we don't use and I uh, rent it out and I actually get a lot of long-term. I prefer long-term because I do everything. I clean and set up everything by myself. So I get a lot of students, medical students, um, uh, graduate students, um, students who can't get housing on campus, a lot of students. So they're usually here with me for like four, six, eight months for a semester. And it's great. They become part of the family. I feed everybody. So one day, a little bit of story time, y'all. Give me a couple minutes. Um, oh, I'm so excited you're here. Um, one year, I got a message from someone who wanted to rent my Airbnb, who asked me, how close are you to the police precinct? And I was like, I don't know. Do I look like I know? I stay out of trouble. And um, he gave me the address and I looked it up. And apparently I'm only like four miles from the pre police precinct. I didn't know that. So <clears throat> said person said, I am coming down from another state to be part of the police academy in your area police academy so i was like well i'll be doggone so sean lived with us for the better part of a year and y'all it was some of the most interesting guest experiences i remember he had a tire he had to go run at like four in the morning all kind of weird stuff i don't know what police officers do thank you all so not only did Sean graduate from the police academy, once he got his police vehicle, we had a police vehicle sitting right outside. Everybody in the cul-de-sac was like, oh my gosh, the kids thought it was cool. Everybody loved it. So eventually Sean graduated and moved on and he's doing wonderful things, but um, we still stay in touch. All of my long-term guests have a special place in my heart. And so for Sean to be here, we made it. We won. I ain't run no laps. I didn't get up at 4 a.m. and do nothing. I ain't shining no tires. I didn't do anything. I just make the snacks. So y'all, I'm going to take one more bite and then we're going to close out with the commercial. This has been so, so good, y'all. This is excellent. Honestly, uh, compared to pasta, obviously cabbage has got a little bit more like crunch to it. I absolutely love the texture. The sauce is great. It's nice and creamy. The bacon just is everything.
Mm. 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 So yes, Sean is part of the family. When the boys had career day at their school, Sean would go in uniform in his police car and get like three or four other police officers to come in and all the kids are like, can we get in the car? Just a wonderful, wonderful extended family member. Boober says, Maggie got stories for days. I'm old. I've been through some things. <laughs> Wilbur says, I need a Maggie story time channel. Anything that's possible, I need Maggie to do. That's what I do, y'all. I'm telling you, every day something happens. Ah, Mystic says, just like the military. Exactly. So we were his home away from home. Oh, okay. I got one more story for you, Wilbur. Let me tell y'all about Sean. So I got this brother in the house to go into the police academy. I'm going to work. I'm taking care of the kids. Anytime I'm like, hey, y'all know me. If I'm cooking, if you're in the house, you get a plate. Everybody can eat. So I remember one day I made, what did I make, Sean? Was it pizza, homemade pizzas? Anytime I have, <laughs> most guests, usually the women when I'm like, I'm cooking, would you like anything? Oh no, I'm fine. I already ate. Okay. The men are like, uh-huh, <laughs> I'll eat. So Sean, doing whatever they do in the police academy, I don't know. So I'm like, hey, I'm making homemade pizzas for dinner. Uh, would you like a plate? He said, absolutely. So I set the table, me, the boys, I don't know how old they were, elementary school age. So like little, flipping around and doing whatever. And Marcus was one of those kids that, you know, swim shady. He was one of those that he would eat, he would take a bite, and then he would go do a somersault. And then he'd come back to the table, take a bite, and then run a lap around the room. Then we could come back to the plate and take a bite. Alex just over there like, I don't know what the problem is. <laughs> this is good. So Marcus was always the last one to finish. We were always like, sit still, Marcus. Stop running, Marcus. Come back, Marcus. That was me, okay? They're teenagers now, but y'all, like I said, I've been through some things. So Sean is at the table. Sean has eaten his plate. Alex double fist in like, you're not gonna move me off my square. Sean told Marcus, get up one more time. See what happens? <laughs> what did Marcus do? Took a bite, ah! ran around, did something. When he came back, Sean was eating off of Marcus' plate. He slid the plate. This was Sean, y'all. Next thing you know, Sean already had cleaned his plate. He told Marcus, get up one more time. Marcus ran around the room. When he came back, Sean was like this. I told you not to move. Marcus looked at me horrified. I was like, you think I'm going to argue with the law? Memory phone Maggie. I told you I don't want no smoke. Sean told that boy, keep getting up if you want to. Marcus didn't believe him. He learned that day. So, oh, it was sandwiches with soup and slice. He remembers, y'all. Man, it's funny. I made homemade sandwiches with soup and sliced avocado. And Marcus was playing with his food. Y'all see? So you see all the way back when Sean came through, he says, hi, Maggie. I totally missed that. He says, looks good. And you know I don't waste no food. <laughs> Hello, my Monte. So that is y'all's Maggie story time. That's why I started jumping up and down because... Not only is Sean a member of the family, not only has he been so good to the boys career day, just all that push up contest, all that foolishness that y'all know I'm not doing. He remembers how I used to cook. I told y'all I've been cooking since 1842 and he ate Marcus food. And you know what Marcus didn't do the next time? <laughs> Run around the room. Joe said masculine Frank. Look, Marcus looking at me like I'm supposed to jump in the middle of that. Me and Alex over here, like, he told you not to get up. Marcus like, rrr, rrr. I told y'all. So that is your unsolicited story time. It sounds great. Exactly. We love the men. We love, love, love the men. 
Sean says, I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you for all of your help and the good times. Y'all, I'm telling you, I know there's a lot going on in the world and I am well aware, but this place for me and with y'all is always going to be the happy, wholesome, family-friendly place where we love on each other and we have a good time. And um, yeah, absolutely. I believe if you put good stuff out there and now, like I said, Sean is, um, I don't know if you want me to tell him what you are now, but he's gotten promoted and doing big, big things. So um, I just appreciate that. And I never forget 10 plus is laughing and I made waffle chips. Man, I was cooking that day. So yeah. So when I tell y'all my cooking channel is just like, I'm just turning the camera on to what I've been doing every day. You saw my mom, you saw I've been in the kitchen since <laughs> Maggie in the kitchen. Um, and then, you know, it's my happy place. So I love sharing it with you all. Wow. What a story, right? So Wilbert, add that one to the storybooks. So yeah, when y'all see Officer Sean, that's what I remember. <laughs> and then every time him and he sees Marcus, you know, <laughs> Marcus looking like, yeah, you got me. All right, I'm going to give you all my commercial and we're going to close out because I'm going to eat this um, faux pasta. It is really, really good. Honestly, y'all, the flavor is excellent. It is not a noodle, so it's not soft and doughy. But if you like a little crunch, if you like that, you would love the flavor. Uh, Mystic says, I'm fortunate to have mom. Yes, mom is incredible. Thank you all for helping me to monetize my passion for food. I do have a course for you. Link is in the description. You can preview it for free. I've gotten really good feedback that it's excellent for beginners. If you want to know how I make extra income on YouTube, I go through my entire process. I show you screenshots along the way. Most new YouTube channels get monetized in about a year. Excuse me, according to the lead attorney, y'all know I'm a proud student of lead attorney. I was monetized in four months and my channel is really, really growing. I'm having a little bit of a viral moment. I was on a podcast, there's a clip of me, it went viral. And so there's a lot of new people here. So we're gonna do a lot of stuff, but it is, you know, originally my cooking channel. Hello, love light, thank you. Um, so the, the course is $50. You can preview it for free. It's two hours worth of content broken down into 15 sections and um, you have lifetime access. So if you have a channel and you're not monetized or you're thinking about starting a channel and you want to know the process, um, that's an option for you. So that's the course cookbook. We talked about the cookbook. It's scrolling along the bottom. It's $20 with a $5 coupon. It's an immediate download. You have the ebook with the recipes as well as the um, video of me making it. So you can read or you can watch. Uh, you can print a hard copy if you want. If you want me to do a hard copy and sign it and send it to you, just inbox me. I'm on all social, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. Um, I don't know what else, but Maggie, the substitute teacher at gmail.com and then the community. So um, if you're interested, I do have like a Patreon. It's free, which means it's a dollar because that's the lowest price Patreon would let me make it. But I post over there the stuff that I'm learning on my etiquette and elegance journey. Uh, a lot of, you know, tips. I'm coming out with another course, a beginners like etiquette course, just for simple stuff that y'all tell me is helpful. Um, you can also be a Maggie member on YouTube starting at $5 a month. Yes. Uh, or on the Patreon at the $5 level, you get the cookbook for free and the course on the YouTube. So that's a subscription if you all want to support, but just being here, y'all have helped the channel to grow. We are on our way to 10,000. I'm going to say it now we've crossed over. I don't even know where we are now. It just keeps growing. But we are on our way to the 10,000 milestone and I couldn't do it without you all. So thank you for all the donations. Uh, Wilbert is a stream sponsor at $55.03 that he scammed, but okay. Thank you, Kevin, for the super chat. Thank you, Chelsea, for the super chat. Yes, Kia says, thank you for an amazing stream. Absolutely, 10 plus is laughing. Wilbert says they came for the viral reel and they stayed for the custard. Y'all know Wilbert. Ebony says, yesterday's stream was beautiful with you and the family. Y'all enjoyed my family. Sean knows the family. He knows these boys, my parents, everything. Oh, one of my favorite, favorite guests. Lady says, love your energy. I'm a moderator out here in these YouTube streets too. Wonderful. You have a channel. Y'all always can come through, shout out your channels. You know, I'm here to support because you all support me. My current guest is uh, here for a couple more months 
he's having a home built in the area. So he's here with me for a couple months and then Randy will be coming to visit and then I have another long term in the fall. I'm at 6.32 and then I got to check IG. Y'all, this is incredible. Oh, no channel. Okay. And on that note, Wilbert wants to remind me that I messed up the cuss word. Whitney says it's a little crunchy. Yeah. So if you like that little crunch, it's really good, y'all. And that fresh cracked black pepper, it's really, really good. Y'all would eat this. Thank you. Good vibes out. Good vibes in. Okay, everyone. Let me go ahead and dismiss on TikTok. Class is dismissed. And, and then Instagram, thank you so much, everyone, for being here. Thank you for helping me to grow. Class is dismissed. Facebook and YouTube, I will see you all tomorrow. What are we making? I don't know yet. But Thursday and Friday, we have the Trucker Series sponsor. We have another sponsor for Meals for Truckers. So if you know anyone who's on the go, Thursday, I'm going to do a no-cook meal. Friday, I'm going to do a cook meal. Uh, pack it up in the cooler and give you all some tips for the truckers. All right. Thank you so much, everybody. I appreciate you so, so much. Yes. Leave a comment. Thank you for helping the channel to grow. I will see you all tomorrow. Class is dismissed. And Sean, thank you. Mwah! Thank you so much for being here. It means the world to me. All right, everybody. Class is dismissed.